Hi there, Livia here. Are you interested in learning how to paint roses in oil more loosely but have no clue how to get started? Well, in this video I will share with you the seven principles to getting started painting roses in oil with a painterly approach. So stay tuned. is one of the most attractive flowers in the gardens and loved by many painters for its beauty and delicacy. They've been a subject painted by many big names in the history like Renoir, Monet, Jean, Franz, Vandel and others. But all this beauty comes with some difficulty to representing it well. Painting roses can be very challenging especially when you have no system to interpret and translate what you see onto a canvas. What principles to consider to achieve a soft and painterly look? So let's take a look at a few ways you can improve your techniques when painting roses. There are seven essential principles to help you paint roses more loosely. The first one is massing and simplification. This is when you paint your subject in its abstract form to start with. This is what this painting was like when I started. So if you want to paint loose, start loose. What makes many paintings look tight is that they are hooked on the drawing structure first as the main aspect of the painting. Going more abstractly will help you get looser in the end. But it doesn't mean that you don't need to be a good drawer though. The drawing will happen while you're painting the roses as you draw with paint. I know, it's easy said, hard done. The second aspect is shape. Identify what the biggest shapes are and start developing them first. Go from big to small. Improving your observational skills and doing sketches of a subject will help you get to know your subject better. The next principle is value and value relationships. Value is about light and dark. Value is one aspect of color and its job is to give form and three-dimensionality to your subject. And relating values and knowing how to differentiate them well will make the petals look like they overlap each other and will make them recede or advance or turn around. Value hides behind color. So when you take the color aspect away, you can see value more clearly. The next is color. This is about the colors you choose, how you combine them, how you transform them, how you're going to create with color to emphasize the center of your interest in your painting. The next is edges. That's about how edges are used in a painting or edges to soften or to harden. The edges in your painting will be influenced by how tight or loose you are with your drawing. See this example of one of my earliest paintings in comparison to one of the lightest. The previous picture is tight and stiff because I was so focused on not losing my drawing and keeping all the petals as sharp as I saw them that I ended up missing the point. Well, I was a beginner, right? We always start that way and through consistent work we develop our skills. At that point I wasn't ready to paint the way I paint today. So let's be patient and understand that painting is a journey and the more you learn the better you get and more good things will spill out onto your canvas. That's the beauty of learning. The next is focal point. You choose a focal point. It is your choice. Let the viewer know that you choose the area to be the center of the interest. Put your greater efforts there, more details, bright colors, highlights. Don't feel tempted to put a lot of detail on all the elements out of the central focal point, like the background, leaves and other roses. The last one is the brush strokes. That's where the beauty lies. It starts with learning how to hold a brush then the type and shape of the brush you use, the angle of verticals, horizontals, diagonals, how much pressure to put on the brush, the speed of the brush strokes, how much paint on it, 
all of this counts to paint with interesting brush strokes. Understand the meaning of your brush strokes as they are a sub product of your painting. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson so far. Following is the time lapse video of my painting Roses in my Garden that I created while painting on location. I sped up the video. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.
The loose approach is so different because every one of these principles happens with each brush stroke. You have to consider all these elements together, whether your brush strokes go with your color, value, focal point, shape, and etc. Every brush stroke you create will mean something. The good news is that all of these skills can be learned, and the right exercises combined with repetition and practice will help you get where you want. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to improve your techniques, check some links below for more tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.